Debbie Reynolds, Spirit of the Plains Casa. We are coming to your city, Garden City. Are you ready for your 10 questions? Absolutely. All right. Garden City is most famous for what? Well, actually, I have quite a few famous people from here. <laughs> Probably one that most people would be aware of, Joe Exotic. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> How did I <laughs> from here? Oh, my gosh. He was born there, correct? Yes, he was. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Your town is best known for what? Uh, probably beef and diversity now. Okay. Diversity. All right. Ketchup or mustard on your hot dogs? Mustard only. Mustard only. What is the biggest event Garden City has every year? That's a tough one. I want to say overall Beef Empire Days. Oh, yeah. Oldest person that you personally know in Garden City, Kansas? Well, I know Lyman Hunkerstadt, and he's a World War II um, veteran, and he's close to 100. Nice. Her yes. Best place to see the stars in Garden Out in the country. Out in the country, not in town. Well, you know, we're out in the country, but outside from the, you know, the lights. Yes, yes. Barbecue, sweet or spicy? Both. Both. If you could rename Garden City, Kansas, what would you rename it? I, I would say for our Windsor Hotel, which I know you're aware of the Windsor Hotel, name it Windsor, Kansas. Windsor, Kansas. All right. Oh, man. Best place to hide in Garden City, Kansas? Um, for me, if it was for fun, it would be Gravity Spa. All right. All right. <laughs> What's something that you think you know about Garden City that very few people outside of Garden City know? I don't know. No. I, I wrecked my brain about that. I don't know. If I knew it, I'd already told somebody. But okay. I, I don't. <laughs> no, that it makes really sense. sense. That makes sense. Debbie, we're coming to your town Thursday night, 7 o'clock, at, at uh, Flout Mountain Brew House for a concert. We always like to give back a little bit in the communities. We're bringing some teddy bears. We want to bring as many teddy bears as we can and donate to Spirit of the Plains Casa. So... For our listeners out there, tell us exactly what Spirit of the Plains Casa does. Well, uh, Jake, we've been here since uh, late 80s. Um, okay. And we are actually, we're a nonprofit that works directly with the courts. Um, most of the, there's only three people in my office, but we have 20 advocates that work for us. And they're volunteers and they okay. work with a child. And so the only way that you can be involved in the court is that the judge actually appoints a CASA to a child's case. And so we work with the most complex and probably significant child abuse cases in our six counties that we serve. Um, we serve Scott County and Wichita County, Greeley, Hamilton, Kearney, and Finney County. Mm. Um, last year alone, we served 73 children. Um, so, you know, it's... Um, it's a daunting task at times. I think probably when I go back to the questions you asked me, most people don't know how much child abuse we have in our community. It's not front page news and, and they are the littlest victims in our yeah, community. No, for sure, for sure. What are some of the biggest needs that you guys have as a nonprofit? Oh, absolutely. We need more advocates, volunteers. Okay. Um, you right. know, my goal is that all the children that are appointed to us have their own advocate. It's been proven statistically that children who have an advocate usually will not be removed again from a home mm. for abuse and neglect, will graduate from high school, and will have a much more higher um, percent of success in their life. Um, some of these children have been in, removed from the home multiple times mm. uh, by the time we, we actually are assigned to their case. Man, that's, that's, that's a good enough reason for anyone right there. So, Debbie, I understand you guys will be on hand with a booth, with flyers, with information at the concert. And uh, we'll do everything we can, not only to help these kids, but also to help get more advocates signed up. How's that sound? Oh, that would be awesome because we have a training class that's coming up. And, you know, anybody can do it, Jake. It's, <clears throat> we do a 30-hour training class. We actually teach you how to be a CASA advocate. So it's not scary. Some people will are, feel very daunted that it's with the courts, but it actually... The courts love CASAs. They, they call us the ears and the eyes for them. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, Reynolds, Spirit of the Plains, we're coming to your city. Thanks for being on with us. Thank you for inviting us.